Okay, so this video covers the cutting out of the Nashorn template. It's fairly straightforward and uh, this is actually a pretty easy template to cut out. Um, I like to use scissors. You can use uh, utility knives or a variety of sharp implements. But for me, scissors seems to be the best, most accurate way. And while you're doing it, I really recommend you try to stay either right on the lines or just outside them. Um, and, and just go slow and try to be really careful that you're following along what's shown. And also sort of look at the template before you begin. And uh, you will see blue lines and red lines and, and stuff like that. Don't cut out any of those. That just shows you like where parts go or where it folds and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about that for now. Just cutting out the basic template. It's usually easier to cut the pieces free from each other before you cut them out. Um, and when you're meeting up lines like this to come from either side, it's quite a bit easier as well, rather than trying to turn your scissors and continue. Just be careful where you hit those connections. You'll be able to cut the pieces apart. Now there are some, there's a few really small pieces like this and this and uh, this piece. I would recommend actually just leaving those on the main card uh, rather than cutting them out just because it's so easy to get them lost or else have a good place to put them aside so that you don't lose them. So as you can see, it's pretty straightforward, like uh, the straight cuts anyways. There's a few challenging cuts, which which I should try to cover. Now this one's pretty easy. I mean, you just cut in, cut in, and then you can use a... Uh, utility knife to cut the center part, or you can even cut it beforehand. But if you do it that way, I recommend that you cut it from both sides so that you make sure, one, that you don't try to push your knife too far to get all the way through the paper, and two, that you have it all the way through the paper right up to the edge of where you need to be. So now I should just be able to follow these lines in and the piece will fall away. Yep. Also, you probably want to keep your the off cuts away, especially if you're going to cut out the small pieces because it's easy to get them mixed up with each other. Now there's like rounded parts and stuff like that. They're a little bit more challenging to cut than just straight ones. Um, but there is kind of a trick to it, which I'll quickly try to show you. So when you're cutting along rounded parts, go really slow, and especially if like they're way more rounded than this, just take tiny little chunks with your scissors, and instead of trying to move the scissors to follow the piece, turn the piece to follow the scissors, and just turn it and take a tiny little bite with your scissors and continue turning it. Go really slow, and you should get a nice, rounded form, like so. Um, so even with tight circles and stuff, like there's not really much of that on this model. This is a bit of a challenge piece to cut out. Again, you're gonna wanna use uh, this to get these inside cuts free so when you cut the main piece out it just kind of falls away rather than you having to try to dig your scissors in and again it's good practice just to flip it around and cut that little bit 
from that side. And then this should easily come out. And this breech part, you'll have to cut that out with your, uh, your, your knife. And same with this piece and the interior, just, just these cuts here. You have to use that for there. There's a little bit of rounded parts, but really generally it's pretty straightforward. So just cut out all the parts. Go slow, follow the lines, and look at the look at the pieces before you start cutting. And you should be safe. And uh, once you've got that done, you'll be ready for the next step. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.